Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Demise here with another video for you today. We have got Silver Lance and the Jet Black Spirit expansions, also known as the Chilling Rain in the English set. This is obviously the Japanese version as of, so far as you can see on the screen, it hasn't obviously been officially released around the world yet as it has been in Japan, but it gives us a bit of an insight into what secret rares we're going to have in the near future. So Poker Beach has been ever so kind to show us these secret rares and uh, let's get straight into the action and see what cards that we're looking forward to pulling from our booster packs and booster boxes when they get officially released. All right guys, so starting off, we have got the Silver Lance set. So in the first column, as you can see, it's obviously in Japanese. So I have translated some of the things but not everything. So we've got the Volcanion, 220 HP, fire Pokemon, two energies, 50 damage and 100 plus for three energies. Really nice looking card, love the art on it. Uh, number 71, let's get straight into the next one. We have got the Ice Rider Calyrex, 210 HP it is considered water obviously in TCG. One energy for 40 damage and 200 for three energies. Pretty, look, pretty cool looking card, uh, not gonna lie. Probably one of my top five maybe looking cards in this whole set altogether, but um, we'll keep looking for them and see if anything can knock it off its perch. Then we got the, I think this is the alternate art. We have got the Ice Rider Calyrex again. Got some cute little uh, dealings and whatnot in the background. It's feels, I think it is. 40 damage again and three energies for the 200. So as you can see, pretty nice looking cards. Just a disclaimer too, I do not know if all these cards will be released in the Chilling Rain. However, a lot of these cards will be brought across and you know, we'll see what happens when the arrival of the Chilling Rains comes, okay? We've got the Galarian Rapidash. Nice little card here, two energies for its first move and then 60 plus damage for two psychic energies. On its second one, Weakness of Dark, 30 resistance to fighting. And then we've got the Eternalite, which I really like this card. This is a really nice looking card with all the flowery effects and just the colors in general. It's really awesome. So that is the Galarian Rapidash V, I forgot to mention, in the Psychic variant as well. Then we have got the Sand Condor with its ability, which we'll find out later on. We've got the 140 damage to three energies, 220 HP fighting card. Not too bad. We have the Light Pard for 190. A dark type has three energy cards for 110 and its ability that is also there too. Then we have the Tornadus V with its 210. It's actually a single strike Pokemon, which is pretty cool. 20 plus damage for one energy and 180 damage for four energies, which is pretty massive. Weakness electric fighting resistance is 30, 210 HP. Then we have the alternate art, single strike Tornadus. As you can see, the same basically the same card, really cool. We've got this cool bunny flying off there. Pretty nice and the uh, cool fish up in the top there. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice looking environment, obviously from the Crown Tundra. And yeah, really like this card, guys. Really like the alternate art Pokemon cards as you probably already noticed from my previous videos, but they are just getting better and better. They're just beautiful looking cards. All right, so the first one we have here on the right hand side from the trainers that I can confirm is actually Flannery. So we got Flannery, which actually notice I actually did do a thing on my phone I'll just pull it up super duper quickly if I can find my album. All right, so based off the album I've got here, so it says, select one special energy attached to the Pokemon in the opponent's field and one stadium in the field. And well, it says trash them, but we're just going to say discard them. All right, so then moving on, we have got the Doctor. Now the Doctor's ability is to draw. Sorry, if your opponent's battle Pokemon is a Pokemon, is a Pokemon VMAX, then draw two cards from your deck. That's pretty straightforward. Then we have got the Peony, which is basically discard all of your hand, select up to two trainers from your deck, show them to your opponent and add them to your hand, then um, basically reshuffle the deck, essentially is what it's saying there. Then we have got Melanie. It's translated as Melon, but we'll, we'll roll with Melanie. So it says, choose one energy from your discard pile and attach it to your Pokemon. After that, draw three cards from your deck. Really nice uh, trainer card so far. That pretty much sums up the trainer cards that I've actually translated. Then we're moving along into the Calyrex Ice VMAX. Now that's a rainbow version, obviously. Really nice looking card. Holding his stance at 10 plus damage for two energies, water type 320 HP, 10 plus for two water energies as well. Really nice looking card, guys. Super stoked about that. And then we've got the alternate art of that um, Ice Rider VMAX. Same stats and damage moves and everything like that, but the alternate art. But yeah, that I really love this alternate art. It looks beautiful. Love all the effects in the purple and the ice crystals and everything like that. Super, super good. Then we come down into your VMAX Sandacondas. 
Uh, the rainbow version obviously 60 damage for one energy and 108 damage for three energies 320 hp fighting beautiful looking card um you've got the tornadoes v max as well which is also obviously the single strike still it's moving along there but you know 60 damage for two energies and 120 damage for four energies but right, uh, single strike beautiful looking card as well and obviously you got all your rainbows with your uh your alter your training cards and stuff like that doctor and peony and whatnot um melanie and then lastly for the last four cards in the silver lance set we have got the bronzong so for 70 damage with three energies 120 hp steel gold card nice looking card hopefully you get to pull that eventually and its abilities there also all right guys so this is the welcoming lantern it's the gold one of the gold card single strike looks beautiful really nice one cover for little features and whatnot there so it's saying here the translation is one support for your trash uh show it to your opponent and add it to your hand so obviously you can understand what it's basically trying to say there then we're coming into the little horn card here i think it is called the imposing helmet in this gold card obviously so it says when the pokemon wearing this card receives damage from the opponent's pokemon in the battlefield the pokemon that used the trick select one of the energies you have and return it to your opponents i'm assuming it's its hand so uh, that's that's a pretty good card too really nice little effects and everything going on there and then lastly to finish off you have your uh, special water energy card which is really nice too so that pretty much sums up the Silver Lance side of the set so far. So now we're going to move into the Jet Black Spirit side. Starting off, we've got the Celebi. Really nice looking card. Start everything off. Celebi V. We've got, I think it's the Arctivish. The Water type. Three energies. 80 damage. 220 damage for four energies. Really nice looking card too. We've got the Zora, which is also actually a Rapid Strike, believe it or not. 210 damage. Uh, 210 HP, sorry. Electric. 100 damage for three energies. Not bad at all. We got the alternate art version of the Zora, which I freaking love that. That looks that's a, just this just super nice in general. 210 HP electric, 100 damage, three energies. Once again, really nice looking card. Then we're getting into the Shadow Rider Calyrex, Psychic Energy Pokemon. Uh, 210 HP, Psychic Energy, 10 damage, and then three energies for whatever that move would be. That'd be very interesting. Probably should find that out because it's probably a very important move. We have got the same card again in the alternate version. It's really nice looking card. Love all, I think it's the Squave that's just chilling in the outside. Well, I personally, I love the Shadow Red. Shadow Rider Calyrex over the Ice Rider, personally. Um, just love it. Looks a beautiful looking card. Super keen to pack that. Hopefully, fingers crossed. All right, we're getting on to the, single, uh, the Rapid Strike, sorry, uh, Metagross. 220 HP, still energy, 20 plus for one energy, and two energies for 60 plus. Not bad at all. Then we got the Blissey. 250 HP, super bulky Pokemon. It's got its probably its ability there. 10 plus damage for white energy in the Blissey V. And then we've got the alternative card version of that as well. Cute little uh, Blissey just chilling in its house, ready for um, its owner or trainer to come home. So yeah, nice looking card. And then out of the first trainer cards that you can see here, we have got we have got what's called Caitlyn. So Caitlyn's ability is choose as many cards as you'd like, swap them in any order, and return them to the bottom of your deck. After that, draw the deck for the number of returned cards that you've done. So that is Caitlyn right there. Not a bad looking card whatsoever. Really like that. And then next we have got Agatha. So Agatha's, basically her ability on her card is select up to three. It says Damakin, but I'm guessing select up three cards on your battle Pokemon or energies potentially and replace them with your opponent's battle Pokemon. So interesting card. Obviously we'll find out more later on once we get the uh, actual English pr print of all these cards, but that's a good start anyway. So then the next one here, we have got the Peonia, I believe it is. So Peonia's ability on the card is, is chooses up to three of your sides and add them to your hand. After that, select them to add a number of cards from your hand, make them back and place them as sides. So that's um, that's a quite interesting translation. I'm gonna, really gonna leave it at that, but overall nice looking card overall. Um, definitely keen to see what the English, English translation and prints um, out in the near future and i think one of the last trainer cards that we've got here is actually we've got mr is it see bold i think is that is how they pronounce it it's a uh, rapid strike card so basically select up to two pokemon of your own Renge Rengeki, and recover the hp by 60. So that's a bit more easier to understand pretty cool looks like he's in the kitchen bit of bit of mayhem happening looks like a golden pen over the back there not bad not bad not bad look at all the rainbows of the celebi v max 130 damage two energies Really nice the shadow rider shadow rider calyrex v max as well 320 hp same abilities and uh damage and energies and whatnot as before that is a really nice card i really like that um that is really really cool i really liking the calyrex riders um 
the alternate cards looking super super sweet right now then we go into the vmax metagross the raptor strike ones in the rainbow then going back down the list again with the uh, caitlin agatha peony and such we've got the agatha and the rainbow peony arm and the rainbow again and then we've got the seabold in the rainbow right there so all really cool cards guys that we're definitely looking forward to pulling once the chilling around that gets dropped um so not already mentioned here we have got the shiny electrode really cool of obviously some obviously the bolt torb 90 hp electric and 100 damage for three energies with its ability there nice looking card too would love that cheeky face with the uh, blue on the white there and then another one that i have got translated here so we'll see whether this is correct or remotely close at least anyway so choose a type of pokemon or energy from your deck Show it to your opponent, add it to your hand, and then cut, it says cut the deck, so we're just going to say it's reshuffle the deck, all right? That card there is actually the Fog Crystal, so the Fog Crystal is a nice looking, interesting gold card, okay? Now, second last card, we have got the Echo Horn in the gold. The Echo Horn, basically its ability or its move is, Pokemon from the opponent's uh, disco pile, um, and put it into the opponent's bench, or it's saying Pokemon from the opponent's trash. They refer to discard as the, the you know, trash is what they call it, okay? Interesting concept, but you know, we'll take it. So, um, Nice looking card too, obviously with the Rapid Strike. And then lastly, but not leastly, we have got the Psychic Special Energy card. Just like the Water Energy, looks really, really nice. And uh, that will sum up the 95th card, 95th card, I should say. Obviously the Secret Rares list and the Jet Black Spirit list is all here too. Obviously I just didn't want to have to keep scrolling up and down the page, so I just opted to have it on the left-hand side of my screen so I could just go a long way. So the last two cards is the Booster Box promos. As you can probably see with the battle stars and whatnot, you have got the Tyranitar V and whatnot. So in this one, we've got the Celebi V starting off. Really nice card. Two energy for 60 damage, one energy for its first move, 190 HP, grass type Pokemon. Really nice looking environment. Celebi is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy it as well, but yeah, really nice. And then obviously we've got the Sleeping Santa Conda V, just chilling in the background, 140, damage for three energies and its ability right there. So HP 220, fighting energy, Pokemon, and it's going to be chilling near the heater. You know, this time of year in Australia, it's getting pretty chilly. We're going to have to put our heater on too. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, so that pretty much sums up this video. This is just a quick little video just to keep you in the loop. If you want to get this information, you can always join me in my Discord and I can give you the links to these um, updates and these TCG expansion sets. However, it is on Perkybeach. Dot com um, if you want to look that up on the internet. Until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe buttons if you want to see any particular comment, uh, sorry, content on this channel, then ensure that you let me know in the comments below or contact me directly. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, it's your boy Demise, leaving the vid. Peace out. Bye.